Hey, I'm Audrey Hope. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Hope for Relationships. I am the Soul Love Healer. And today we're going to hear from Teresa from Chicago, who wants to know how she can pull in a love very quickly. Well, Teresa, the answer is the relationship quiz. Please join me. Healing is so unbelievably simple. You do what needs to be done, and that's it. Over problem solved. Thanks for joining me so we can heal all our issues from the deep level of the soul. Today, Teresa from Chicago tweets, I would love a quick way to get better at relationships. I'm very busy and I don't want to go into therapy and I just want to be able to attract my soulmate. Do you have any suggestions for a quick method? Yes, Teresa. I have the New York quick way to pull in the love of your life. So, the secret to manifestation and healing is to ask the right questions. Because when you investigate yourself deeply and know yourself, then you are free to solve the puzzle of your life and the riddle of your soul. And you'll get all the keys and jewels of answers so that you'll be able to solve the problems or any blocks that are in the way. And the first question we need to ask, what do relationships reflect back to you what do you need to see and what do you need to learn. So here today, I will share with you my relationship quiz. So let's begin. Take a pencil and paper, do this at your leisure, go through it as you wish. What do I want? What do I want in a relationship? List five to 10 qualities in a partner that I must have that are non-negotiable to me. Can I become the list in myself? Can I become what I want in a partner? Am I ready? Am I ready to have real love the best? Am I ready to stop taking crumbs and settling for less? Risk. Can I risk everything for great love? Can I? Will I? Do whatever it takes to become my best self. Do I dare to live in truth, integrity, 100% of the time from this day forward? Healing. Do I know that the secret of a relationship is to heal myself first? That it is my responsibility and within my power to do so? Can I heal myself and stop running and hiding and blaming others for my own happiness? Patterns. What is always the drama in my relationships? What patterns and themes keep repeating no matter where they begin? Do the problems feel familiar? Is my present relationship a repeat of another relationship? What do I silently scream about in my relationships? What makes me angry and what am I still angry about right now? What do I regret? Where is the pain? Baggage. What issues and baggage do I bring to the relationship? What is unresolved and what am I still carrying? What past relationships are with me energetically and why? Where is this cord attached to my body? Why are they still attached to me? My relationship health. Am I healthy enough to attract a healthy relationship? Do I have healthy boundaries? Do I take bad treatment from a partner? Do I defend the bad treatment or the abuse? Beliefs. What are my beliefs about relationships? Do I believe in true love? Why or why not? Where do they come from? What did my mom and dad teach me about love? What did their relationship teach me about love? Am I afraid to have my parents' relationship? Why? What do I believe about the roles of men? What do I believe about the roles of women? Men are, women are. Fear, are relationships scary to me? Why? What do I fear about love? What does fear of being alone motivate me? To do? Does it motivate me to stay where I am? To accept less than I deserve? Responsibility. Am I a positive or negative person? Am I a victim or hero of my own life and my own story? Am I stuck in my family history? Do I use my wounds and trauma to define me? Do I get a benefit from the wounds? Do I understand it is within me alone to make me happy and that relationships are really icing on an already amazing cake, which is me. Self-esteem. Do I know that self-esteem is a secret to manifesting true love? How do I rate my self-esteem on a scale of one to 10? Do I treat myself well, like a king or queen? Am I on my own team? Do I know my worth? Do I love myself unconditionally? Am I honest about who I am or do I wear a mask? Or do I hide who I really am? My needs. Do I sacrifice myself and my needs to be loved? Am I too needy? Do I give too much? What don't I forgive about myself? Why am I so critical of myself? And what am I waiting for? 
So, Teresa, if you ask yourself these questions, you will then begin to heal yourself and take full responsibility for what you create. And then you will live in high vibration, which is exactly what you need to manifest and pull in a true love. So thank you for your question. I'm Audrey Hope, and thanks for joining me. If you have a relationship question, you can write to me on my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter. The links are in the description box below. And don't forget to like and subscribe so we can continue to heal all our issues from the deep level of the soul. I'm Audrey Hope, and thanks for joining me. Hey, if you like my videos, and I hope you do, then subscribe and click. Are you gonna click? Come on, click here now, let's go.